Shout out to our sponsor, Loot Anime. Loot Anime is a cool subscription crate that sends you anime and manga goodies for only $24.95 each month. You can get $3 off a new subscription if you use the offer code to know. <laughs> Welcome to the Know, I'm Meg Turney. And I'm Grey Haddock. It's Monday, which means it's time for everyone to crawl into their existential holes and wonder about their place in the universe. And just in time, too, because astrophysicist and, you know, buzzkill Neil deGrasse Tyson says that it's very likely that our entire universe is nothing more than a game of Super Mario Brothers. Woohoo! And another entry of scientists saying crazy shit this time. The famed cosmologist made his bold claims in a recent discussion with other scientists as part of the Isaac Asimov Memorial Debate. Now, the event held at the Hayden Planetarium gave panelists a chance to discuss the topic of whether or not the entire universe is just one big computer simulation. In the conversation, they likened us to Mario, Sims, or avatars in Second Life, controlled for someone else's enjoyment. Wait, is our... Or is our universe ripping off Miyamoto? Or is Miyamoto <laughs> ripping off? I don't understand. Uh, There's Birdo and Egg. Who came first? Yeah, that scenario's <laughs> in there for you somewhere. But in the debate, Tyson put his eggs all in the, the universe is simulated viewpoint. After asking the other panelists the likelihood of whether or not we live in a simulation, Tyson stated, I think the likelihood may be very high. He went on to talk about how much smarter other intelligent life forms might be than we are, comparing our intelligence to them as toddlers or chimpanzees to Stephen Hawking. Hmm. Then he added, this is not a stretch to think about. And if that's the case, it's easy for me to imagine that everything in our lives is just the creation of some other entity for their entertainment. Tyson wrapped it up by saying, the day we learn that it's true, I will be the only one in the room saying I'm not surprised. <laughs> what a fucking downer. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah, okay, I'll be here with it. I told you so, guys. Uh, by the way, it does sound like these guys smoked a bunch of weed before having this panel discussion. What if we're all just like in Mario, man? Mm, yeah. For Tyson, it comes down to what we can imagine. If you can imagine that it's possible for a super intelligent alien life form to create a simulated universe, well, then that's probably already happened. That someone somewhere has created one. And if someone has created one, then there's just as high of a probability that we are the simulated universe then the chances are that, of course, that we're not. So it's 50-50 on whether or not we're just carrying out a game of Super Mario Brothers, which is where he derives the math that the odds are very high, and the word high is coming up a lot today, yeah. <laughs> that our universe is nothing but a program. 420 was last week, guys. <laughs> Basically, Tyson is invoking the super scientific and age-old internet theorem, Rule 34, that if you can dream it up, somebody somewhere has already made porn for it. Except he's applying Rule 34 to theoretical physics. Got it. Which is exactly what it is. Sure. Tyson, of course, isn't the first person to make these kinds of claims about the nature of reality and whether or not we're all just payers of pixelated overalls, throwing fireballs at our own personal coach. <laughs> the simulation hypothesis actually has a fairly long history in philosophical thought, making the jump into the scientific community in the last few decades. Naturally, you can imagine that it inspires a great deal of debate. Yes, the concept itself has been a discussion as far back as ancient Greek philosophers, with dudes like Zeno of Elia stating that our reality is nothing but an illusion. In Western thought, it became prominently discussed by Rene Descartes in the 17th century, when it was known as the evil demon principle, meaning that our reality was controlled by a malevolent evil demon. Yikes. <laughs> Super Mario is so much better than that. Although, yeah. Bowser kind of controls what he's doing in that game. <gasps> dun -dun 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 -dun. Descartes was onto something. All right. Uh, this late night stone collegiate debate came roaring back in modern times in 2003 when philosophy professor Nick Bostrom asserted the chances we're living in a post human simulation are very high. So, scientists, of course, come down on both sides of the issue. Many argue that the symmetry of our laws of physics point to our universe being simulated, but just as many of them say that any errors or inconsistencies we find could be evidence for the same. Theory physicist Dr. James Gates said he found self-correcting computer error code embedded within the fundamental structure of string theory, making him question whether or not we live in the matrix. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other researchers out there, out of the University of Bonn, have tried to run studies to show that if we are living in a simulation, what determining factors would we even begin to look for? Their findings indicate that we would have to observe a particular lattice-like distribution in the dispersion of cosmic rays, for one thing. That's a sentence. Yeah. Before you get too worried that you haven't spent enough time getting your one-ups before our alien god starts blowing in our universe's cartridge, I don't know how long we can take this metaphor, but we're gonna keep going. Tyson's belief weren't shared by the other panelists. Yeah, at the panel, physicist Lisa Randall said that the likelihood of us being in a simulated universe are, quote, effectively zero. Uh, you know, but she's just programmed by Miyamoto to say that, of right? Of course, yes. So, yeah, so while Tyson makes for great sound bites and tweets, he's not always on the right side of science. Eh, 
And as it turns out, the dude, yeah, he might know dick about dick, although I, that's not my words. In a tweet just last month, he's very smart, Tyson said if there were any species for whom sex hurt, they probably went extinct a long time ago, which of course led people to point out the corkscrew vagina of ducks, along with another of under other animals who probably hate getting stuck with barb-like penises. A oh, super science guy doesn't know a lot about sex? Ah, oh, shocker. what? Oh my god, big bugs <laughs> totally stab each other with their dicks. To be fair, uh, he looked really hot in college, though. <laughs> Tyson also completely discounted SpaceX back in 2013, and SpaceX has of course proven that it might be a viable way to get people off this, uh, well, get a simulated planet. Yes, plus the guy totally sucks the fun out of movies, complaining about factual inaccuracies in films like Star Wars and Gravity. Who wants to listen to someone like that? <sighs> yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I like him a lot. I'm, I'm rooting yes. for Tyson, but his messaging is starting to confuse some folks. It's but true. In the end, the simulation hypothesis is just another in our long list of problems in our universe that we might not ever have an answer for. Uh, or, you know, keep us up too long at night. You know, like the Fermi Paradox, which postulates that on the nine super scary reasons why we haven't yet found any other life in the universe, like, you know, maybe Mass Effect style Reapers are coming to wipe us all out. Yeah, that's why you haven't found them, because yeah. we're all alive still. <laughs> There's also the time travel paradox, which asks that if time travel exists, why haven't we met any time travelers yet? So, unless we're all just time travelers <laughs> playing a huge <laughs> prank on you, then there's the holographic theory of our universe, stating that all the data in our universe is just two-dimensional and we're only perceiving it as three-dimensional. I'm not even moving in space right now. <laughs> what? This sounds like a college paper I had to write. Uh, again, all sorts of problems to keep you up at night. So, while some of those problems might have eventual revelations, puzzling out whether or not we live in a simulation is one of those things that'll probably just kill screen your brain if you think too hard about it. Yeah, at other points in the discussion about our possible simulated universe, panelists also talked about how it would be possible for a simulated beings to create simulations themselves, and we're just going inception levels oh, now. Oh man, so the universe is red versus blue, confirmed. Yes. Really, you know, this problem of existence was pondered and maybe even already solved by Descartes, who famously said, I think, therefore I am. I don't understand it, therefore <laughs> I also am. America. <laughs> See, but you had to think that it's still not understand <laughs> Yeah, it's true, exactly. Yeah. So whether or not you're just Mario going through the motions, or you're watching this video on this laptop, you know, you just exist, because you think you do. Hopefully. Probably. Well, you know, at least until science disproves it. Yes. So, what do you guys think of Tyson's latest assertions that we might just be programs jumping around for the enjoyment of our alien masters? Is it all real, man? What's happening? <laughs> Pass the bone. All right, so for future quotes, we're probably very high scientists. Like this video and subscribe to the know. Thanks, Loot Anime, for sponsoring this update. Loot Anime sends you over 60 bucks of cool stuff starting at $24.95 each month. Every crate has a theme, and this month's theme is music to celebrate Hatsune Miku's US World Tour. You'll also get stuff from Show by Rock, Your Lie in April, Hypersonic Music Club, and more. The crates keep selling out, so if you're thinking of grabbing one, do it now. Do it!